This week in Wellington, meanwhile, the largest equestrian venue in North America, it's hosting the Rolex Grand Prix. This event will close out the Wellington International Tour. WPTV News Channel 5's Danielle Seat found out this year is attracting a record number of people. The final jump of the season is near. This is literally the best of the best with the best athletes from all over the world. Wellington International's Rolex Grand Prix is expected to host more people and more competitors than ever on Saturday. This venue allows you to be right up next to the competition. The event serves as a celebration and caps off 13 weeks of winter equestrian competition. Organizers say seven to 8,000 people come every weekend and some Wellington businesses say they rely on it for majority of their income. It's a, a massive influx of people and horses. Lou Cuthbertson. My uncle started the business in 1975. Says that their family business, the Taqueria. So these are fiber cane polo mallets. Completely depends on these winter months and events like the Rolex Grand Prix every year. You know, the expression you have to make hay when the sun's shining is absolutely true because when it's hot and uh, rainy in the summertime, we don't have the same uh, number of people here and we're not going to do the same amount of business so we have to do the best we can now. He's not alone. According to Wellington International, the event gives Palm Beach County a $286 million economic boost and creates more than 3,000 jobs. We're a huge fueler of not only jobs um, but also family entertainment and bedroom nights to Palm Beach County too. Among those competing this weekend, Olympic silver medalist Jessica Springsteen. Absolutely. I've been coming here since I was 10 years old. I was as someone who's traveled the world competing, she dubs Wellington International as one of her favorites. Watch the Grand Prix, watch the best riders in the world compete, and you learn so much from that, and I think that really is what makes it so incredibly special here, is it really is such a high level. Saturday's events are free, with gates opening up at 6 p.m. Reporting from Wellington International, I'm Danielle Seat, WPTV News Channel 5.